Hello everybody and thank you for joining us for another Whitfield's Food Review. Alright, so there you have it folks. This is the Burger Fi All Day Breakfast Burger. It's a pretty cool place. It does have a very Shake Shacky yeah. Wall Burgers quality to the place. Even the colors. Gray and green. Yeah. Do you guys have Burger Fies? Do you have Shake Shacks? Do you have Wall Burgers? Probably not Wall Burgers yet. It's Mark Wahlberg. We made a restaurant. Due to Jen's braces, we have to cut the burger in half. And we always have to reference that because of awesome comments like this. And you know what I said to him? Touche. Touche. <laughs> I think I think it was Shakespeare who originally said that. I think so. This is pretty big, guys. Oh my gosh. And we also got to order fries. I forgot to mention that. Yeah, so. we got to order fries because I want to try them. So, bottoms up, friends. Mmm. Oh my god. That egg is perfectly made. First thing I tasted was um, the syrup. Maple syrup. The greatest invention of all time. Even <laughs> I think a tree invented it. It is a messy burger, so I think the car is the best place to eat it. But we can't review it in there. There's too much music. Yeah. You wouldn't hear us, and then... Those damn hipsters and their tunes. Yeah. I think the average age is about 55. Those kids and all their doo-wop I mean, music. It's geared towards maybe a younger crowd, but... Seems like it. The, the egg. That can be a really bad situation to get an egg and a burger if they don't know what they're doing. It can be too runny and disgusting and ruin the whole thing. It can be overcooked and it's just, it's just this dry little floppy gross yeah. thing on there. When you bite it, there's a little bit of ooziness, but not too much. Yeah. Damn, that's some good bacon. Oh, one thing we're like, oh yeah, there's burger on here too. That maple syrup just brings it all home. Just like mom used to make. It's grilled onions on too. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I just got that. Ooh, it's ketchup. It's like an M. Night Shyamalan movie. Every little bite's a new twist. <laughs> it is. You get a little bit of something different in every bite. Like, the bread's like, holy shit, we're really dead. It's mm. hearty. That bacon is good. Mm hmm. Real salty. I know that's not good. Yeah. But no, it's, it's good. so good. It's salty. Their big claim to fame here is that they use very high quality ingredients and beef and all that. And that's great. I give that a big thumbs up. But at the end of the day, what counts the most is the taste. And this thing tastes good. Any day, all day, every day. I love that flavor. These are like no frills, no additives, no weirdness. This tastes like they like, I went back there and said, smack to a potato, threw it in a deep fryer, and salted it. I'm glad it's a little bit of a distance of a drive. Because if it was close, I don't feel like cooking tonight. We might live there. Right. Yeah, it's really cool. They have local craft brews on there. And they have a wine bar, too. All wine on tap. But you know what? It's bull. They wouldn't even let us take it out here and drink it in the car. I thought this was America. There we go, what are your opinions? Yes, what are your opinions? Um, the That guy looks real confused. This burger, first of all, was about $8. A little over $8. Not a cheap burger. That was big. But it's a step up. Obviously, there was a ton of stuff on that. All right. Can't fault them for skimping on it. That's for damn sure. And the order of fries are huge. 
And it's a it's slightly less expensive than McDonald's large fries. No. Ask me questions. Ask questions? I'm not Oprah Winfrey. I'm not like, I would have liked less of ketchup on mine. But that's just a personal preference. Most people like ketchup. I just... I'm not a big ketchup guy, but I do think it's maybe a little odd to have ketchup with and, maple syrup. And maple syrup. I, yeah. I like the maple syrup on it. Generally, I wouldn't necessarily like that on a burger because I don't like sweet stuff on my savory foods. But, yeah, you love maple. Yeah, that's... I like maple. It's good, but but it was good because it's supposed to be a breakfast sandwich. That makes sense. Bacon was... was Anytime they a place has a burger and they put all the stuff on top of it, one tends to kind of get the shaft and like maybe one thing's really good, one thing's prominent. I will say the balance of everything was quite good. I every bite I got something different. Mm -hmm. I got the bacon in one bite. I got the hash in another bite. I, I didn't even discover the onions. I felt like a little little Magellan. I was discovering stuff mm -hmm. all the way through the onions till I was almost done. But yet all the flavor was there. I do agree. The one thing that when I did get the bite with two ingredients overlapping was I thought it was a little weird with the maple syrup and the ketchup. That being said, I would get it without ketchup and maybe a little extra maple. That's just me. I would just get it without ketchup. And extra maple. We both agree on that. So, and then the fries, that's my kind of fries. Like, I like I yeah. like fries anyway. These are perfect. Yeah, like, if McDonald's are the perfect fast food fry, these, to me, are just like the perfect overall fry. I love that. I love that, like, russet potato taste. Big points to the BurgerFi for you can order online. They got a pretty cool app. And, um... They have touch screen, so we don't have to interact with humans, yeah. which is awesome. But let's do a bundle package. What are you giving the fries and the burger? A four point, four point eight out of five. Four point eight out of five. Burger part was a little drowned out by the other stuff. It was the only ingredient I don't think I ever got a taste no, of it. I didn't either. But, but we did get a breakfast burger, yeah. so we we got exactly what we asked for. Next time we're gonna have to just try a traditional one, so yeah. we can see what the beef actually tastes like. It's not it's not a what is the beef? situation, but it, it was a. I didn't taste the beef. The the two tenths of a point there are the beef and the ketchup. But anyway, guys, that's what we think. Let's know what you think. You guys have a burger fry in your town? If you did, would you go try it? Do you have a Wahlburgers or a Shake Shack? I might have already asked that. But let us know what you think of those kind of burgers. These are the gourmet burger places. Do you like that kind of stuff? Or are you just a fast food burger kind of gal or guy? Please hit that subscribe button if you're new to this channel. If you're not, please hit that notification button. And then also, I've been alerted that there is a difference. There's tiers. There are notifications. Sometimes none and then always that's just asinine please hit always because otherwise youtube's like not this one buddy mm -mm, you don't get to <laughs> nope. watch this one so please hit that like button share subscribe share all that other stuff comment thanks for watching and until next time